good morning everyone welcome to global online university channel and here we are back with our preparation for ugc nta net paper one and the topic for the day is research aptitude as you all are aware that global online university has started with revision lectures as well as mcqs which will be daily telecasted at 8 am in the morning and 8 pm in the evening and this pattern will go on till the time exams continue Apart from this, we have a complete course for paper one, which consists of 60 full syllabus tests, full syllabus notes and video lectures, which you can avail by uh, downloading an application that is Global Online University. At the same time, we have our WhatsApp uh, group that is paid WhatsApp group. The contact details are reflecting on the screen, which is for triple nine. And we have started with our new batch that is from 12th of April 2021. So let's start with the lecture for the day. As you all are aware that we have started with research theory. In short, I'll be giving you the idea for what exactly the research topic is with concern to your exam syllabus. Yesterday, we did meaning of research, importance of research, as well as objectives and the steps of research. Today, we'll be focusing uh, on a topic that is types of research, okay? So let's start with the first type of research. The first one is applied as well as fundamental research. So let's understand what is applied research and what is fundamental research. Uh, as I have told you, every one of you that when we are doing this theory, please keep a, a notes ready with you, writing notes, because there are a lot of terms which you can use in MCQs, which we will be completing the theory and we will be taking a full fledged revision of MCQs for research aptitude. So let's understand what is applied research. So applied research is that research which aims at uh, finding a solution for immediate problem. So see, I have written very clearly that if you want to find out a solution for an immediate problem, either the society is facing or an individual is facing. So for that, we, re we use an applied research. Take an example as marketing research can be one of the example of applied research. Whereas when we talk about fundamental research, first of all, it's known as basic or pure research. So you can get any term for it, okay? Where it uh, extend the boundaries of knowledge in a given area with no immediate application to the problem. That is, there will be no necessary immediate application to the existing problem. It can be in a generalized form or a theory. For example, you're doing a research on human behavior or you're studying the behavior of human beings. So that you can call as what? That you can call as the fundamental research. Next type we have is descriptive and analytical research. Descriptive. So when I'm talking about descriptive, it means it describes, okay? Which can be in the form of surveys or which can be in the form of fact finding, okay? It is also termed as ex post facto research. That is a relation between cause and effect. Okay, this, this type of research gives you the relation or it describes the relationship between cause and effect as the researcher does not have any control on the variables. So he can report either what has happened or what's happening. So this is what the thing comes under descriptive research. So like, for example, frequency of shopping or preference of people. So what is the frequency of the shopping? What is the cause for that? And what is the effect of that? So descriptive research, which is also termed as ex post facto research, and which gives you an cost and effect relationship. At the same time, analytical research. Now, when we talk about analysis, it's study. So it, the researcher here use the facts or information which are already available. So they make use of the things which are already available. And with the help of that, they analyze or they make a critical evaluation of the material. So it's analysis, in-depth study. So we can put it as in-depth study. So please try to remember these words because they may give you an examples and they may tell you to find out which type of research it is. So you should be able to understand the concept very clearly. 
next one which we have is qualitative and quantitative research so please try to understand quality it talks about you know uh, the phenomena the characteristics the features whereas when we talk about quantity it talks about measurement so let's first understand what is qualitative research so qualitative research is basically it involves quality okay it involves a kind so this type of research discovers the motive and desires or using in depth interview for the purpose other technique for such research are word association test maybe com sentence completion test maybe story completion test or a similar projective techniques like for example attitude or opinion research to find out how people feel or what they think about a particular subject so when where you express the qualities where you accept express the characteristics uh, where you are more concerned about you know uh, the uh, quality as rather than any other aspect so that is called as what qualitative research so when we talk about quantitative research it is basically measurement of quantity or it is amount so it is applicable in terms of quantity okay in terms of measurement in terms of quantity next we have as conceptual and empirical research see conceptual uh, which is related to the ideas abstract ideas or theories it is generally used by the philosophers or the thinkers to bring out new concepts to discover new concepts or to reinterpret the existing ones so conceptual research when we talk about theoretical framework so that type of time this conceptual research is used whereas when we talk about empirical research it is experimental research and which gives you know uh, uh, like for example the real life situations it relies on the experience or the coming up with or coming up with conclusions which have been capable of been very which are verified with the help of observation or with the help of experiment so it is used when the researcher has to prove that the certain variable has a impact on another variable please try to understand when a certain variable a variable x has an impact on variable y like for example if you want to study the impact of you know intake of tea on sleep i mean to say how does a intake of tea okay affects the sleep in a human beings so it is one of the variable your first variable is t another is you know sleep so when you want to study such impact you will make use of empirical research next is we have the rest type of research apart from this researches which we have studied that is started with applied research which is an immediate problem coming to fundamental research which is very basic and pure going with descriptive research which is also known as ex post facto research at the same time it we have analytical research which is called as in depth study we have started qualitative research and quantitative research qualitative it means which depends upon quality quantitative talks about measurement then we started conceptual research which it's talking about abstract ideas or coming up with new concepts empirical research which talks about experience so apart from this main research types we have other research types such as explanatory research okay which goes beyond uh, you know uh, the description and it explain the phenomena that the descriptive research has only observed here it is one step ahead i mean it goes one step ahead for explanation so here the research the research would be use of theories or at least hypothesis to account for the forces that caused a certain phenomena to occur means it means that in descriptive research we just observe and define but here we go for one step ahead we make use of theories or the hypothesis in order to prove our research next one you have as exploratory explore it's a development of hypothesis okay rather than testing we can talk about you know development of hypothesis next is historical research okay that is in the form of documents remains or to study the events which have already occurred in the past so we call them as historical research 
la last one is conclusive research so when we talk about conclusive research here the researcher is free to pick up any problem to redesign the the inquiry as he proceeds and prepares to conceptualize the way he wishes so such type of research is called as what it is called as conclusive research so today we have covered yesterday we started with research topic we have covered meaning objectives characteristics and process today we have covered uh, the types of researches uh, in the upcoming lecture we will be covering methods okay and so on uh, i request all the aspirants now see we have some time and as we have promised to you that we will be we will be uh, taking care of theory also so in small span of time we are uh, trying our level best to give you a maximum which we can but as we have time right now so let's understand the part of theory and very soon the moment the unit gets covered we will go we will go with mcqs in case if you have any any such concern please put your uh, comments in the comment box so that we can understand what exactly is comfortable for you and we can come up with the videos according to your uh, you know comfort level so we request all the aspirants who are watching our videos so just ensure that whatever doubts whatever concerns you have put your messages in the comment box and accordingly we will take uh, we will come out with the best what you require to prepare yourself for the upcoming examination thank you for the day uh, see you tomorrow thank you everyone